Well, a different kind of school visit for Mayor Kenny today. He communicated with students with the help of technology. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has more on the interaction from the Einstein Healthcare Science Center. The science of communication is giving voices to students who can't speak. Sophisticated technology now enables people with physical disabilities to express themselves like never before. What is your favorite sports team? Special talking computers helping students at the HMS school ask the mayor questions. I'm a big flyer, fan, big hockey fan, I love hockey. Mayor Kenny was a guest reader at the University City School for students with physical disabilities. Most have cerebral palsy. They're part of our fabric of our Philadelphia society as much as anybody else. And now new technology allows the students here to communicate more easily. Do you like Facebook? For students who can't move, the eye gaze technology gives them a way to communicate by just staring at certain icons on a computer screen. So you just looked at Rainey and yep. it said Rainey. Dawn Rainey is an assistive technologist. When you see this, what do you think of this technology? I mean, it's pretty it's really breakthrough for our kids. It gives them a lot more access. Our students really have limited physical capabilities, so they really are dependent on technology and advancements in technology to control how they interact with the entire world around them. 16-year-old Shannon uses voice ID technology. Today after school, I am getting my hair cut. Instead of a robotic voice, certain sounds she can make are used to create a voice that's like what hers would be. It gives them their own voice, their own unique identity and gives them really who they are as a person. In addition to special education for students up to the age of 21, HMS also provides a wide variety of therapies, the goal being to get the students to be as independent as possible and connected to the community. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.